you, the stem says uh, you have a post-traumatic meniscal tear patient and he was for arthroscopy today and it was cancelled. Okay. And the operation was cancelled before twice. Um, you're going to have nine minutes in a separate room to read the patient notes, of course, but I assume that you've done this before. Uh, so please speak with the patient and update them that the operation is cancelled. Uh, you are the patient, sir? Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Uh, uh, Whenever you're ready, you just tell me and you can start. Uh, should I start, sir? If you want to start now, please go ahead. Okay, sir. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Mansur. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Jagdeep, one of the surgical doctors here. Uh, can I confirm uh, your date of birth and name, please? Yeah, hi, doctor. Hi there. I've been waiting for the surgery. My name is, uh, is Abdullah, and uh, it's 10th of May, 1994. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but uh, uh, I, I, I see that you have come for your uh, knee surgery today. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I came here before, and I'm waiting for it. They told me that they're going to start in one hour time, so... I've been just waiting. I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet. So I'm really excited that I'm, I'm finally going to get this done uh, because it's been there for, for years and years now. So I'm really grateful okay, for uh, you and your team that you're doing this. Okay. Uh, but uh, I'm sorry to say this, but we, uh, you are, uh, we could not do your operation today because uh, the consultant who was who is supposed to do the surgery has been called away uh, due to an emergency. So... I'm extremely sorry for that. Sorry, hold on. What do you mean? You, you can't do my surgery today? No, that's not possible. You are doing it today. Uh, I don't uh, care what's uh, happening in here. You, I'm going to have my surgery. Uh, I totally understand that uh, you must be upset and uh, your knee might be causing so much problem. To I you. don't think that but... you understand. You don't really understand what's happening in here. You know, my, my, my leg has been really hurting. My knee has been really hurting for years and years now. And I'm finally getting this done. And this is the second time that's getting cancelled. So I don't yeah, think that um, you understand. Yeah, I, I, I can, we have so many patients like this. I can understand that you are having problem with this. I can see that uh, you your surgery has been cancelled twice before also. So, but uh, whenever an emergency comes, we have to give preference to it. And uh, we have to do that prior and uh, uh, reschedule your surgery. So I'm, I'm extremely sorry for that. But uh, uh, so you are, can, you, are you going to uh, give me another, another date for the surgery? No, I can uh, I cannot definitely give you an exact date, uh, but uh, because I don't have the list with me now, but we'll get back to you uh, and we'll uh, I'll mention all your circumstances and uh, all your. Uh, so are you able to, to go and check your list and maybe give me a date before I leave? Uh, I can't do that just now because I have to uh, consult my consultant also on this, and uh, I'll especially mention all your circumstances and uh, I'll tell him I'll ask him to give you an earlier date. And we'll get back to you. We'll call you uh, uh, giving the date, mentioning the date as early as possible. Okay, so you said you're a surgeon. Why don't you do it? Just, you know, take me to theater and get it done. Uh, I'm sorry for that because I, I'm an uh, resident doctor. No, I can't perform the surgery without a superior uh, seeing over me. So I alone can't do the procedure. I'm not qualified for that. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, so, so you said somebody will contact me at some point with a new date. Uh, yes, we'll contact you with a new date. We'll get in touch with you as soon as possible. Will it be cancelled again? Uh, 
there might be a chance if an emergency occurs again then uh, uh, it might also get cancelled so we can't give a definite guarantee or uh, definite but we can try as uh, as soon as possible it can cancel there is there is a chance what do you mean there is a chance i, I, don't, I don't really understand like uh, again whenever the patient uh, whenever an emergency comes and our if our consultant has to go then he will prefer the emergency over your case and uh, we can't do we can't help much with that i'm sorry we have to prefer emergencies oh. over elective cases yeah i see it's like it's like my case is not really important but okay no no we, we yeah. understand every case is important for us but uh, we have to prepare emergencies because it's uh, life threatening for them and we we always have to prepare emergencies or elective surgeries okay fine um yeah it's it's really painful i don't really know what to do but uh, okay. uh, we can help you with that walk, walk, walk. we can uh, add one more analgesic or uh we can uh, advise you some physiotherapy exercises yeah please please do that maybe uh, we'll if, even if you can add a, some more on gc if you need yeah that would be helpful uh we will add we'll even uh, uh, refer you to our physiotherapist he, uh, he will uh, show you some exercises that will help your uh, knee and will strengthen your knee and you can do some uh, non weight bearing exercises like swimming also to strengthen knee muscles so, okay all right fine thank you what do you think of your performance of the previous one uh, i think i managed to uh, uh, calm the angry pain yeah so so basically in this scenario um the patient will be waiting for you in gowns all right in gowns very happy that is having a surgery and yes. um when you spoke when you speak to him he, he wouldn't know that the surgery is being cancelled so i think you've done well but the only thing i would add is your start the way you started the scenario need to be altered a little bit and that will be and instead of just saying from the start uh i'm sorry the surgery is cancelled you're going to start closer how are you doing today how's everything um okay. i understand that you're waiting for the surgery today is that correct and how have you been when was the last time that you had something to eat or drink i will say um oh six hours ago or last night oh that's quite a lot so I'm sorry sir I need really to discuss something with you uh, regarding the surgery. Uh I do appreciate that you're waiting for it and I can see that you're very excited that you're having the surgery. And I also understand that it was cancelled two times before. But unfortunately I'm afraid I don't have really good news for you. The surgery will have to be cancelled because we have um uh, another emergency case my consultant has to be called for it. On the other side of things, we can over your breakfast now if you feel that you want to eat something or can get you something to eat or drink. So you're sort of combining, you know, things together uh, at the beginning. So the patient will start to be really angry at you. And then here is the time when you need to listen. And, um, um, you know, um absorb the patient feelings and then after the patient finishes just say well I completely understand how frustrated you are and um I'm pretty sure that there is something that we can do about it and I'm here to help and we can sort it out together all right and in this yeah. scenario as well it might be worth um Hold on. There is someone else joining. Is that uh, you? Me, uh, it's yes, sir, yes, sir. I joined in. Okay, great. Are you able to sign out from the other one? Yes, sir. I'll sign out. Okay. 
So there are two more things in, in this scenario um, which will definitely be mentioned or that you will have to mention in the exam. And that is one, it check the patient medical condition and understanding of the surgery. Because this patient doesn't know anything about what, what kind of surgery it is. You might be asked to explain to them what is arthroscopy. Okay, not might, you will be asked about explaining arthroscopy. Can you unmute yourself just to check your understanding? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you will be asked to, to explain what is arthroscopy and why are we doing that? OK, that's one. The the other thing is, uh, so so one, like I said, check the patient understanding, the patient uh, medical issues and, and, and so on. And also the second thing is to explain arthroscopy uh, to them. OK, always take the initiative. Okay. Don't wait for the patient to ask you questions. So um, the way I, I would do it, like I said, I explained the surgery is cancelled. Uh, and I also offer them a breakfast and then I will say, well, so I'm here to discuss with you. I'm here to help and we have many things that we can uh, uh, build up on it. And that will be, I can explain the surgery to you. I can explain what will happen next to you. We can talk about the complaint process in the hospital if you would like to raise a complaint. And I think that's it. All right. So the patient will know how the conversation is going and you are the one who's leading the conversation. Not letting get to the patient to ask you a question and then you answer them. The last thing is the complaint. So encourage your patient to raise a complaint. Right. Okay. And this is for two reasons. Uh, I think this particular patient will ask you, how can I raise a complaint? When the, the patient say that, you say, well, I completely understand that you want to raise a complaint. It's absolutely fine. And we have something called Pulse that you can contact them and speak with them about that. I know it might be very helpful for you, but it's helpful for us as well because it will let us know how many surgery is cancelled per, mon per month and we can audit it. And that can potentially increase the number of theatre or the theatre rooms that we have. OK, so encourage the patient to, to raise a complaint. I hope that makes sense. So these are the main okay. issues in, in this scenario. OK. Yes, Good. So as you can see here, um, that's the answer to it. Present yourself, break the bad news, and then prioritize. Talk about you know that you have a, another surgery that was cancelled. I think he might ask you, are you able to speak with the consultant? You will say no, I can't. Uh, but politely, um, it will ask to change to get another consultant to, to to operate in him. Again, you can say this is you know a long process and so on. Is it likely to happen again? Yes, it is likely. Exercise and pain management and complaining and so on, which we we covered. Okay. Yes. Yes.